Can you imagine injecting skin into your body? Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Akanksha Mishra and this is Scientifics where I will be taking you through this week's top science news from across the world. Our first story today is about scientists in Sweden who have developed what they call skin in a syringe. It's a special gel that's filled with living skin cells that can be 3D printed into skin grafts. The goal is to help people with severe burns or deep wounds heal faster and with less scarring. The gel contains tiny jelly-like beans that are carrying fibroblasts which are cells that help form the deeper dermis layer of the skin. This layer contains blood vessels, nerves and other structures that make skin strong and elastic. These beads are mixed with hyaluronic acid which is a natural substance produced in the body. When pressed, the gel turns into a liquid so it can be injected or printed but once it's on a wound, it solidifies again. In studies conducted on mice, the printed skin pieces grew blood vessels which is an important step towards keeping new tissue alive. While more research is definitely needed, the authors said that they hope one day doctors can grow a patient's cells from a small biopsy and print custom-made skin. Next up, scientists may have finally answered a decades-old question. Can liquid water form on Mars? The University of Arkansas's Center for Space and Planetary Sciences says that yes, in the form of salty brines, water can exist on Mars. A new study published in Nature Communications Earth and Environment used meteorological data from NASA's Viking 2 lander and it used computer models to show that brines could briefly form during late winter and early spring on Mars. The answer lies in frost. Normally, frost on Mars sublimates, that is, it turns from ice to vapor because of the thin, dry atmosphere on the planet. I know what you're thinking. Shouldn't something first turn from ice to liquid and then to vapor? Well, on Mars, the atmospheric pressure is so low that water molecules straight up become vapor. But researchers found a one Mars month window which is about two Earth months, when early mornings and late afternoons are just cold enough for calcium percolate brines to melt and not cold enough yet for them to turn into vapour. So they stay liquid at around minus 75 degrees Celsius. Though the amounts of water would be very tiny and it would be far from supporting human life, these fleeting brines could have supported hardy microbes in Mars's past said the study. Next, a 13-year-old drought and several others lasting more than three years may have played a key role in the collapse of the classic Maya civilization, new research suggests. How do the researchers know this? Through analyzing stalamites, the limestone structures that are found rising from the floors of caves. They are usually formed by dripping water, sometimes by dripping rainwater. So a team led by the University of Cambridge analyzed oxygen isotopes in a stalemite from a cave in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula and they reconstructed rainfall patterns between 871 and 1021 CE. Yes, that's right, from a thousand years ago. This fine-scale seasonal data revealed eight multi-year wet season droughts, the longest stretching 13 years in that period. Such conditions, even with the Maya's advanced water management, would have severely affected crops and contributed to political and economic decline in the region. Monument building and inscriptions at major cities like Chichen Itza ceased during these droughts, which indicated societal stress. This study, which was published in Science Advances, offers the most detailed climate record yet for this era. And finally, Music does not just move us emotionally, it can also keep us company, according to new research from the University of Sydney's Music Mind and Body Lab. Led by cognitive neuroscientist Dr. Stephen A. Herf, the study is the first to show that music can trigger vivid imagined social interactions, even without lyrics or voices. Over four years, researchers asked 600 participants worldwide to imagine journeys towards landmarks either in silence or while listening to folk music from Italy, Spain and Sweden. 
those who listen to music consistently pictured richer more social scenes such as dancing or laughing with others the effect held across different songs and without vocals suggesting the companionship came from the music itself the findings could inform low cost ways to combat loneliness and enhance therapies using mental imagery from phobia treatment to ptsd care by harnessing music's power to spark social imagination that's all we have for you today thank you for tuning into the print